So my wife has been wanting a mount over her craft area, a camera mount, and um, we looked at a few things. I had one that actually sat on the table. I was mocking up, and in the midst of making that, I think I came up with something a little bit simpler that mounts underneath the cabinet, but temporarily. So uh, after I got through making this, I thought I'd be kind enough to share with you how I made it. So we'll tear it apart and show it to you. And so here's the mount without the camera. And then the am camera just easily screws with a quarter twenty bolt. And you can see, excuse me for the shaking. You can see why this is turned around because if it wasn't turned around then the camera would be like this coming straight out and of course the picture would be upside down. Okay so here we have the camera mount. The uh, first component of course is the mount that the camera mounts onto which is I've got a uh, quarter twenty bolt with a, uh, I guess it's it's got the locking thread where I turned. Here, I'll take that and show you. So what I've done is, first of all, drilled a hole to tap quarter 20 thread in this piece of plywood. And then I actually counterboard the other side for uh, thread clearance. And you'll see that after I screw it back through it. It's a clearance for these threads that actually engage in the camera. And I've turned down the bolt. Well, first of all, I took a thumb nut and uh, jammed it against the head so I have something to turn with. Uh, so it's all no tools, you know. Then I turned down the thread on the back half and left the thread on the front half. And what that does is when you thread it in here, it will thread and then the threads will disengage if it gets so far so it leaves the bolt moving free but yet locked into the hole, locked into the threaded hole. Which will allow you to attach your camera. And that's when it breaks loose. And it's now it spins freely, the threads are no longer engaged. And then uh, all you do is you mount your camera on there, tighten it up against the, the piece of plywood here. And down here, I've got half inch PVC cap, just a cap. So I drilled a hole in it, and then took a short screw and screwed it to this block. Uh, eventually, I believe I will have to glue this on because it does still want to twist, even though I have got it pretty tight and it's still, still wanting to twist. So that's the first component. Then the rest of it, I've got half of this glued up already. So what we got here, this part is all glued up. So, it, but it's basic, you know, PVC assembly. This right here, this stub, is what the camera mount attaches to, and I will not glue this on there and for, uh, you know, the removal of camera or to make alterations to this block or some other different type of block. That I may want to add to this, you know, other accessories. So that's just held on with friction. The reason that it's shaped like a hook is because if I just came straight out from the cabinet, from the bottom of the cabinet, with a piece of PVC and just put the block on like so, then as the camera was filming overhead, the picture would actually be upside down because the camera would be, would be turned around. This redirects that and lets the camera be turned back around so the uh, picture is right as it's filming whatever is below it. Okay, <clears throat> so the second half of this, which I will glue to this 
when I'm satisfied everything works correctly. The reason it's shaped like this is because it's these act like standoffs to keep the mount after it's mounted under the cabinet from twisting from the weight of the camera one way or another. And what I have here is one of these plastic mounts that you mount, you know, PVC to a wall or any conduit to a wall. And I've cut one side off, which you can see here. What that lets me do is after I assemble and glue everything together, I could have left this hole and slid it just through the hole as we moved it. But once everything's glued together, that's impossible. So what this allows you to do is just with some pressure, snap it in place. And as you can see back here in the back, these standoffs just worked out perfect for underneath this cabinet to keep it from twisting. I did have to add a spatial block, which you can see here, to make it for this offset underneath the cabinet. So I was thinking I was going to have to need another one back here, another clamp, but the weight of the camera and the rig will hold the back part up against the the uh, excuse me the cabinet. So you can see here again, here's the camera mounted and completely removable. So to remove it, first remove the camera and then grab the fixture and just pop it out. It's just held in with friction and the hook. Thanks for watching.